Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the latest Harbor Freight coupons for the end of July 2021. We'll be going through this flyer and looking to see which instant coupons will really save you money and which ones will not. I will also point out some tools to stay away from and point out which tools are good values that you should consider. If you can't see this flyer clearly due to the video encoding, you can always see it in high resolution image at my website under the extras tab anytime that's convenient for you. That way you can better plan out your shopping list. In this flyer we have over 130 items to look at so I won't be going over every single item. If I skip over something that you want more information on just make a comment down below and I'll be sure to respond. Alright so let's see what Harbor Free has in store for us this time. But before we do that, if you want to stay informed about all the latest Harbor Freight savings coupons or any new tools and products that they put out, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new Harbor Freight coupon video or product review video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Like I said, this is for the end of July instant savings coupons. 136 items we'll be going through and the prices are good until August 5th, 2021. So starting off here, we have the Pittsburgh Rapid Pump Aluminum Jack, $69.99. You know, if you're looking for an inexpensive jack, this jack will do it for you. I mean, the jacks have been climbing in price considerably. If you don't want to spend over $100 for most of the other jacks that they carry, here is a good alternative for you that you should consider. And here we have the Flux 125 welder from Chicago Electric for $119. You know, this used to go down to about 99 bucks all the time previously, but now 119 is the price that they're asking. So prices do keep going up. And here we have the Vulcan Omni Pro 220 Industrial Multiprocess Welder. Uh, normally 1149, right now it's 999, 150 bucks off. So if you're looking for a decent quality welder, if the Chicago Electric's not good enough for you, you want a better one, there is the Vulcan. You can take that into consideration. And here we have the Bauer pressure washer, 2000 PSI max pressure washer. I don't, it never reaches really 2000 PSI. For 149, considerable savings off the 194, which I think is way overpriced. And I've always thought this pressure washer is way overpriced. In fact, recently I did a review of another pressure washer from PowerWorks, which is a much better product. It's the same thing as this one, pretty much detail for detail. It's pretty much the same uh, pressure washer but it is a better price and you get a longer warranty. I would say check out that video if you want a good quality pressure washer that is reasonably priced and gives you a lot better warranty. Check out my uh, PowerWorks pressure washer video instead of this one. And here you have a McGraw three gallon compressor for 50 bucks, that's not too bad. If you're looking for an inexpensive pancake compressor, that's not too bad right there. And here you have the Bauer cordless impact driver for $54.99. This is not bad. I have one of these. I've done a review on it. I've had it for a couple years now and it's worked out fairly decent. It's not a bad tool. This one is reasonably priced and not a bad tool. Of course, I have done videos on other tools. If you want to compare, I've done uh, chemo and other tools that you can look at, Heart and Ryobi and so forth. So if you want to shop for different tools, you want to see what each one uh, will produce, you can go check out my other videos on my video page on uh, my channel. But uh, this one, I have nothing really negative to say about it. And here you have a few more compressors. Here's another McGraw for 49 bucks, 110 PSI, three gallon hot dog compressor right here. Or you have the six gallon Fortress for 139. Now that's a big increase in price, but it does give you 175 PSI and it is quieter than the McGraw. So it depends what you're looking off. It's a trade-off like everything in life. If you want to get a better quality compressor, more pressure, quieter motor to it, 139, that's what you got to pay. Yeah, let's see here. You have a TV mount for 15 bucks. That's not bad. That's pretty darn inexpensive right there. And an Orbo Palm Sander right here, 24 bucks. Uh, let's see, that's not too bad. They've actually dropped it in price a bit, but I do have a video of a Jealous one that I did a review on not too bad, not too long ago, and it's not a bad tool. And it pretty much it has everything that the Bauer has and pretty much very close to what the Hercules has, and you can go check out that video if you want an alternative to the Bauer. It is, like I said, the Jealous brand has a longer warranty, comes with a lot more accessories. This one brings no accessories whatsoever. The Jealous one brings a whole ton of sandpaper and attachments and all sorts of stuff like that, and you can go check that out. 
In fact, I'm probably going to be doing a review of a Jealous Brand belt sander coming up very soon also. So you may want to keep an eye out for that video if you're interested in getting a good quality belt sander. Like I said, all these other companies that I review, they all bring you more accessories and more warranty than Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight on everything they have, whether it's from a dollar on up to a thousand dollars, it's all 90 day warranty. All 90 days, regardless, which is kind of ridiculous, but you know. And here you can look at the uh, Central Pneumatic Retractable Hose Reel. This is not a bad hose reel. I've had this for several years now, and it's a good uh, contraption. I mean, it's worked out just fine for me. The only difference from when I got it to now is that the one I got is a uh, black body all around. This one, they started painting the arm here yellow. No other difference aside from that. 50 foot, 3 8 inch, st still the same thing. And this one is a bit more expensive now. It used to go down to about 54 bucks. And again, you, if you want to wait, if you're not in a hurry for it, you can see if maybe next month or something like that, they may put it a little lower. But if you really have to get it now, 69 is not a bad price. It's a whole lot cheaper than the 84. So you can get a savings right there, 17% off, like it says. So uh, it's totally up to you if you can wait a little while or not. Harbor Freight prices are all over the map right now. So it's very difficult to say what they will or will not do later on. Here you have the Fortress 2-gallon compressor, 135 PSI, also 139. This is not a bad compressor. Again, kind of pricey, but if you compare it to other brands, it's not too, too bad. Like I said, it's right there, California Air Tools 210. Yeah, California Air Tools are rather expensive compressors, so this one's going to be cheaper than that. But it all depends what you want. Do you want high PSI and a very quiet compressor? If noise is not a, a priority for you, you can get a cheaper one, that's for sure. Here you have one of their 30 caliber ammo boxes, $3.99 for the plastic ones. Got to be careful with them though. I mean, it uh, depends if you're going to beat it up or not. The plastic one is okay, but you can't beat it up. If, you're, if it's something you're going to be throwing around and beating it up, get the metal one. That's a whole lot better uh, ammo box for you. This one is plastic, is ABS, is fragile. So you got to be a little bit more gentle with it. Here we are. You have the 588 lumens tactical flashlight, 899. That's not bad. That's what they normally put it at on discount. And, you know, I have some flashlights that I just uh, received that I got on order uh, from another company, uh, Gearlight, I believe it is. And they produce the same flashlights as Harbor Freight. The same design, same everything. Better price, though. You can get for like 20 bucks, you can get a two-pack of these. Obviously, on sale, it's about the same. But the difference is, it's a good quality flashlight. Nicely well-produced, I should say. And it has a longer warranty than Harbor Freight will give you. So that's one of the things. Harbor Freight flashlights seem to be good right from the start. But the problem is, a few months or a year or two down the road, a lot of people have been complaining that they just stopped working. So that's why I'm looking at some alternatives. If you like what Harbor Freight sells as far as their design and so forth, I'm looking for other things that are the same, but a little bit maybe cheaper and more warranty. So better quality there. And here you have the Pittsburgh Click Type Torque Wrenches, 1599. This is not a bad torque wrench, and you can select one quarter, three eighths, one half, whatever you want, 20% off. It's not a bad torque wrench. I have it. I've used it on several videos. I've had it for several years now. Normally, I would tell you to hold off and wait because this one used to go down to $9.99 all the time. But now, $15.99, I haven't seen it go on discount for a couple of months at least. So it's totally up to you if you want to wait for a little while or if you need it now, $15.99 is not bad. They used to put it, like I say, all the time for $9.99, but, you know, Harbor Freight prices are really crazy right now, so I really can't tell you if it's going to drop down to that again or not. Uh, you know, tracking their prices has got to be a real challenge lately because they're all over the place. I don't know what they're going to do. Some things go up, some things don't go up. Here you have with the uh, Hexchank uh, socket drivers right here from Warrior, $2.99. That's about the normal price that they put it at. These are decent. I've had them for several years. Use them in all my review videos. Never had a problem with them. So that's an inexpensive socket driver set right there and good quality. I have no complaints. Same as these guys right here, the Titanium High Speed Steel Step Drill Bit Set, $8.99. That's the normal price that they drop it down to all the time. The three set right here, the three piece set. And it's good quality. I've done a review video on this if you want to check that out. And they work out just fine. If you need some inexpensive step drill bit set, that's a good one to look at right there. 
And here you have a Warrior 12 bolt lithium ion cordless drill driver, 17 bucks. You know, that's about as cheap as you're going to find it. I don't think you can find anything really, really cheaper, uh, cheaper than this out there. It's just for using it around the house for normal little things like putting up shelvings or, you know, putting up picture frames, stuff like that. Not a very heavy duty drill, but if you don't need heavy duty, 17 bucks, that'll get the job done. So, you know, I, I, I can't say anything too horrible about that. These guys right here, the ramp set for $42.99, you know, I don't like these things because they're ABS plastic and they're hollow inside. They're like a honeycomb uh, pattern inside there. If you turn it over, it's not solid. And I really would not trust my life getting under these things. And 43 bucks is, you know, not cheap. Uh, they used to be cheaper than that. They used to be like 35 bucks or so. So they've gone up in price. But to be honest, I don't like these. Um, normally, I, I would not trust getting under something like that. So I would say if you want to save yourself 43 bucks and you want something that's going to protect you better than this, watch a video that I have that shows you how to make these yourself out of some scrap lumber. Same thing, a lot safer. Lumber is never going to collapse on you no matter how much weight you put under it and uh, or on top of it, I should say. Uh, lumber will never let you down. It'll protect your life and basically that's, that's what it's all about right you don't want to get under a car and have it fall on you because of weak plastic so check out that video and uh, you can make one for yourself for nothing at all and here you have the Ames infrared thermometer 1999 I've done a review on this it's a decent enough uh, thermometer it does the job you need it to do 1999 it's about the normal price they drop it down to I've seen it go down as low as 1799 but 19 is the most normal, the most common price they drop it down to. So if you're looking at something like that, that's not bad to look into that. Here you have the 200 lumen super bright flip light, 239. I've seen this go down to 199, but 239 is not bad. If you're looking at something like that, why not go right ahead? Here you have an electric drain cleaner for 89 bucks. This is a pretty heavy duty drain cleaner, 23 feet, the bower right there. I wouldn't recommend this to the normal homeowner. There's a lot of cheaper alternatives out there. If you're a plumber or you do this as a handyman or something like that, then yeah, for something like that, I would say it's definitely useful. It'll definitely get the job done and you make your money back because you're doing it for a living, for a trade. But for the homeowner, don't get this one. They have other alternatives or other companies have other alternatives that are way cheaper and will do the same job. Here you have the welding cart, 99 bucks, and you have a premium accessory kit right there from Merlin, 19 bucks. That's not bad. Brings you fittings and the hose and all that. It's a crappy little hose. It's not a really good hose, but for little things, if you want to have this like hanging over your workbench or something to, you know, fill up little things here and there, it's not bad. And here you have the Chicago Electric Variable Speed Rotary Tool Kit for 31 pieces right there. $17.99. Now, this is a reasonably good rotary tool right here. This one's reasonably good. If you're looking for a rotary tool, this one's not bad. I won't say anything bad about the tool. The, uh, the bits and pieces that come with it are pretty crappy, but the tool itself is not bad. Now, on the other hand, don't try to cheap out and don't get the other one that they have, the other rotary tool that they put on sale all the time for like six bucks, seven bucks. Don't get that one. That one is a piece of junk. You will use it once and throw it in the garbage because it is that bad. This one, for a few dollars more, you'll be much happier. If you want to get a rotary tool from Harbor Freight, this one is the better one to get. I would definitely suggest this one. It's about the same as a hard tool or Black & Decker, anything like that. It's very, very similar to that. Here you have a folding miter saw stand for 49 bucks. if you're looking for something like that. Some tarps. And these lights right here, $27.99. 1250 lumens work light you know this is not a very good light to be honest i've done a review on this and i found it to be kind of weak it doesn't have very good light dispersal doesn't light up when i did it lighting up my shop it really did not light up very well at all since i did that review i've done a bunch of other reviews on several different lights that are way better than this way better prices and you can get like two packs and stuff like that for the same money or less so I'm going to put a link up in the corner to my playlist for LED lights that I do because I do LED light reviews all the time. So go check out the other ones that I have there where you can get big savings, get much better lights at a better price and warranty than this one right here. This is really not that good. 
Here you have the Banks 18 gauge Brad Naylor. Um, again, every time this comes up, I always say instead of the Banks, save yourself money, get the Central Pneumatic. It is the same machine with a different paint job and it does the same job for a lot less money. You can generally get the Central Pneumatic for like $24.99. So a lot cheaper than this and it's the same thing. Unless you want a shiny black paint job that says Banks on it, that's the only thing you're going to get for it. So look at the central pneumatic instead of this one. You'll be much, much happier. And you have a tool bag, seven bucks. That's not too bad. And a plug. And you have a three-eighths inch uh, drive SAE or metric, uh, eighteen ninety-nine. That's not too bad if you're just starting out or something like that, or want to have a tool kit to keep in the trunk of your car or something in case you break down on the road. Nineteen bucks. That's not bad. That's that's a good thing to look into. Lifetime warranty. It'll take care of you if you have any problems at all. And here you have the Icon half inch, 50 to 250 pounds professional torque wrench, 109. Holy Maloney! That is <laughs> the the other one was what 15 bucks. This one's 109. My goodness, that is a heck of an increase in price right there. I would say go get the other one for 15 bucks. You're way better off. There's not that much of a difference in this. It is a click type torque wrench. It is not going to make any difference to you when you're torquing something you know and it's clicking away it's not like it's digital if it was digital i could definitely understand the increase in price but it's not it's just a click type uh click type torque wrench just go get the other one you'll be much much happier here you have the pittsburgh combination wrench 22 piece 15.99 that's not too bad the hand tools at harbor freight are always the best thing to get there you're going to get the best value on that when it comes to electrical stuff and so forth it's kind of hit and miss but the hand tools are generally always the best stuff to get there. And here you have the rotary four and a half inch uh, cutoff wheels, 10 pack, 549. Uh, again, not too bad. They're, they're not great. You're gonna go through them, but you know, at 54 cents or 55 cents a piece, it's not too, too bad. A lot cheaper than getting them at Home Depot where I think they're like a dollar a piece, something like that. So they're way, way more expensive there. So, you know, if you need some cutoff wheels, that's a good way to go. Same as this right here, the security bit set, 100 pieces. I have this, I've had it for like almost 10 years now. And it comes in really, really handy, uh, especially me making uh, you know videos, taking things apart and stuff like that. It has really come in very handy because a lot of times you have to use these security bits to take things apart. But even for the homeowner, DIYer, stuff like that, it's a good thing to have on hand for seven bucks. It takes care of pretty much every security bit you're ever gonna find out there. You have a 14 gauge into outdoor extension cord, 12 bucks, eh, not too bad. And a front wheel drive bearing remover and installer kit, 99 bucks. Again, I always point out, if you're only going to use it one time, call your auto parts store, see if they have this where you can rent it for free. If you're going to be using it all the time, then okay, fine, go ahead and get it, no problem. But for a one time use, call your auto parts, O'Reilly's, uh, AutoZone, whatever you have close to you, and see if they'll rent it to you for nothing where you get to use it and then you get a full refund when you take it back that's always a smarter way to go same with this the bearing puller and separator uh, right there again call your auto parts see if they have it for you and maybe you can get it for nothing and here you have uh, the hercules corded four and a half inch angle grinder 64 bucks again i did a review of a different angle grinder from a different company a little while back a few weeks back it's still on my video page i'll see if i put up a link to it go check out that one it gives you a much better tool comes with a ton of accessories to it and a longer warranty much better than this one right here for about the same or less i can't remember offhand but it was very very reasonable price but it's offset by the fact that like i say it brings you a ton of accessories with it where this one is tool only that's it that's all you get you get no cutoff wheels you get no grinders you get nothing so go check out that other one much much better than this and here you have the Bauer 10 amp variable speed belt sander. Here you go, $89.99. Now, like I said, I'm going to be getting a belt sander from Jealous very soon. And uh, that one is about the same as this, but I think it's way cheaper, way cheaper than that. And it has a longer warranty to it and comes with a ton of accessories. So keep an eye out for that one. Don't run out and get this Bauer one. I'm pretty sure you're going to like the other one better. It even has a much more industrial look to it. So it seems to be a much better built machine than this. This is just the old fashioned style. The other one is uh, the angled belt to it. So it's a much better, uh, more modern style to it. 
And you have an LED spotlight. Again, if you're interested in LEDs and stuff like that, LED flashlights and uh, security lights and all sorts of stuff, go check out that playlist that I have. I throw all sorts of LED lights in there that I review. Whether you need security lights or spotlights or flashlights or searchlights, whatever, it's all in there. And you can pick and choose which one's better for you. And generally, you're going to get a lot better pricing than you will through Harbor Freight and much better longer warranties and better made tools in general. Here you have a simple spray gun, 20 ounce, 21 bucks. That's a very inexpensive little spray gun right there. Nothing special about it. Here you have a finishing sander from Bauer. And I haven't done one of these uh, yet, but, uh, you know, down the road I may. I did the orbital one, but I may do a finishing one down the road. That all depends. I try to mix it up and try to give you guys different things and so forth to keep you, you know, entertained and uh, educated as to what's available out there, show you all the different options from different companies and so forth, and not try to make it boring always doing the same thing. Some YouTubers, they do the same thing over and over and over. I try to mix it up and keep it interesting for you guys. And this right here, this uh, six-piece tool set, not a bad little tool set, 13 bucks, is not bad. But keep in mind, it's not six different types of tools that you're going to get there. You get three different tools, long and short. That's it. The heads, I think there's only two or three variations to this. Two or three, they're, they're the same. The long and the short are the same. So you're not getting six, you're only getting three. So just bear that in mind. If you're okay with that, that's great. That's fine. No problem. And let's see right here, 25 bucks for this four-piece toolbox set. Don't even throw away your money on that, folks, because it is literally throwing away your money. I bought this a few years ago, and over time, they broke on me so badly because they're so terrible, and I don't have them anymore. I threw them away piece by piece by piece. I wound up throwing each one away because they were that bad. Do not waste your money on that. It is a garbage set. And let's see, then we have some cheap gloves and so forth. And uh, let's see, a blower right there. I haven't done one of these 40-volt uh, type blowers. I may do that in the future, but right now I haven't done one yet, so I can't really give you uh, much of a comparison on that. And you have another little utility bag right there, three pockets from Voyager. You know, if you want cheap ones, Voyager is the one to, to, uh, to look at as far as these bags go. If you want, you know, they do have the Bauer and the Hercules bags, but if you want just cheap bags to throw your stuff into, the, Warrior, the Voyager ones are the ones to look at. They're the way to go as far as that goes. And a welding blanket there for 25 bucks. Not too bad. Magnetic pickup tool. And let's see, a longer hose if you're looking into something like that. Five fifty, six bucks. Uh, you know, again, these are crappy little polyurethane hoses. I wouldn't use them for major projects or something. They're coiled up. People like to have these like hanging down from the ceiling onto the workbench or something so it's out of your way, but you can pull it down and use it on something to blow things off or, you know, fill something up with air. So that for that, it's okay. But for anything else, not really. Here you have the Atlas 40 volt lithium ion cordless 24 uh, inch hedge trimmer tool only. So you have to get the charger and the battery separately. So this $60 price can become 160 or more very easily because the Atlas chargers and batteries are not inexpensive at all. And, you know, if you want something cheaper, I have done reviews on a couple different hedge trimmer from Chemo and from Snapfresh, and they're way cheaper, and they come with both the battery and the charger already included and a longer warranty, generally like, what, a couple years on, I think one is one year, the other one's two years. So you can go check out those videos and get yourself a better hedge trimmer at a much better price. Because this, forget the 59, you're going to pay way more than that unless you already have Atlas chargers and batteries on hand. Same as this right here, the, the uh, Schneider 3-in-1 cordless soldering iron, $21.99. I have this, but not the Schneider. I have the Burns-O-Matic, and it's been very good. And actually, this is not true right here. It's not $37. Bucks. I don't know where they got that price. But if you go to Home Depot right now, when I bought mine, I bought the tool alone, just like this, and it was 25 bucks. So for 4 bucks or 3 bucks, the one at Home Depot, tool only, is way, way better. But right now at Home Depot, they have it for 31 bucks with a kit where it comes in a storage case, and you get the solder and the flux and all this kind of good stuff. As a kit, it's only 31 bucks. But if you want to compare apples to apples, by itself, it's 25 I would say get the burns matic It's way, way better than this and has a longer warranty and easier for anything, any problems that you have with that. So I don't recommend that one at all. There you have a feeler gauge, 32 pieces, $2.99. That's not bad. A little truck organi trunk organizer right there, $9.99. And the bubble wrap. 
Yeah, it's a good way for packing things up or getting rid of your frustration. You can sit there and pop away the bubbles if you're all frustrated. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, here we are at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit, click that subscribe button, click that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.